Right guys, another quick vid. Uh, it's been a busy day today. Uh, literally, I uh, had a free day, so I started about half nine probably, and uh, just concluded the changes to the um, attenuator. So previously, uh, there was a problem uh, that if you uh, had uh, the same uh, ADC selected for both DDC, uh, DDC 2 and 3, um, the attenuator wouldn't uh, behave as you expect. Now we got separate here, so uh, we're on ADC 0, ADC 1. Uh, so not a lot happening on... Uh, I just got a bit of wire on the, on the uh, other socket to be honest, but uh, nothing happening there. If we attenuate... Uh, the top receiver, uh, that behaves, you know, as as you'd expect. And the bottom one uh, is doing the same. If we um, do it the other way around, uh, similar uh, behavior. So that's all all fine, and the S meters uh, are correct both ways. Um, if we now pick uh, two uh, ADC zero on both two and three, uh, you'll notice that they're um, same S meter readings, uh, and we've got a linked um, attenuator now. So if you attenuate the one, uh, it attenuates the other. We're not looking at the same range here, so it's a bit uh, confusing, but uh, you get the idea. So, and you can alter this uh, this one, and it'll do the same thing. If you uh, change to, of course, uh, the other set, if they're different, incidentally, they're not linked, so um, obviously, but if they are the same, then they get linked together. I have to sort that out. I don't like being able to shrink that right down. Um, so there we are. There's that one. And there's that one. So that's behaving uh, properly. Uh, now, the other option, of course, is if you have um, step attenuator turned on. So we've now got uh, the regular attenuator there because the... Uh, ADCs are split, and we've got um, attenuate there as normal. If, however, we link uh, with with the step attenuator turned on, if we use the same ADC, you'll notice that this changes uh, to step attenuate mode, and you change this value, or you can change that value, and it works for um, two sets on there as well. So. That's that. There's probably going to be some issues um, because it is a massive amount of change in there. Um, potentially things like um, signal readings for cat commands, um, different radio hardware that I'm unable to test on. Uh, so I'd appreciate some uh, some testing on that and some feedback. And uh, if you find anything, because it's hard to explain, it's probably best to make a video. A uh, couple of other things I want to cover in this uh, appearance, uh, the colour system. Um, I've made it a quick and dirty uh, way to share uh, some colours. So uh, as you as you can see, uh, here's a here's a big string. <laughs> now the top one, if you um, if you share uh, these big strings with, with friends or whatever. Select uh, zero, uh, the first node, and control V. And that will use the uh, the color information that's stored within there. Select, uh, click again, always click on, on node zero, and then control V. And to copy one, uh, so let's change this to orange, say. Always click on node zero, and then, because it gives this thing the focus essentially, so you've always got to click on it, control C. And then that's that one. So if I uh, change it, so always click Control V, 
let's get it to this obvious one always click on it control V and then we'll go back to this one that we just did and it's just a, a quick uh, easy method at the moment you know I could have a memory system on here or a save option or, or anything really save and load but at the moment it was just uh, quick to put that in uh, so that's that it's a little hidden uh, feature for those that are uh, want to uh, exchange um, uh, color stuff if you put uh, some a random junk in like you can all that there and you click and paste uh, nothing will happen it has got a level of uh, um uh what's the word uh basically you'll work out whether or not it's uh, it's suitable uh but it's not 100 percent, so uh be careful with it <laughs> um the other thing uh which i'll cover quickly in this vid um is to do with spotting um let's just switch this other receiver off uh if we go into uh spot uh we've now got european spotters only uh, option um and oh, we've got the data ernst gave me a, a tip on uh uh, country dot dat file so i wrote a parser to parse that and hopefully we've got all the uh the regex correct to uh um limit to european only we have a reconnect at startup uh so you you have to um have connected to something first so if you click connect here on k1rfi.com uh there we are all right so we'll uh we can disconnect turn this reconnect at startup option on shut down uh start thetis back up running the another version on the other monitor at the moment just to do comparisons with that uh attenuation stuff so if we run this up again uh, you notice spotting up the top there has automatically turned green and if we go in there uh, we have connected uh, to that one so if you want to change disconnect click on that one connect leave this uh, reconnect at startup option on leave it running and, and just shut down uh, let's run it up again and uh, see what happens so yeah it's uh, it's been quite a busy day today i was going to do the xml stuff for n1mm but i think i'm gonna have a rest tonight <laughs> so that'll be probably tomorrow so there we are spotting started up and it's connected to ve7cc so that's that um and if you turn uh, let me just turn my background on appearance uh, background uh, if you uh, turn track on and we've got reconnect at startup as well Restart Thetis again. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll have uh, the picture in the background as well. And it start up. Yeah, so there we are. So that's that uh, done. Hopefully that's uh, suitable. I don't actually use this. Um, I was talking to, I forget who it was, but uh, it's like... Oh, <laughs> It's nice to have positions placed on, on the on the spectrum, of course. Um, but the filtering in this is not as good as an external program. Um, there's way more features in, in the VE7CC client, for instance. Um, you know, you can uh, only receive spots for a certain country uh, and all sorts of things like that. It's a massive amount of filtering on it. And, of course, that other program can uh supply stuff to um to thetis like you could put your your local address in here and the port that it's using and the uh, your other program would uh feed stuff in um <laughs> strange yeah strange <laughs> uh so there we are i don't think there's much else to mention since the last one um couple of things fixed here and there but uh that's probably it okay guys um i'm hoping i've got to at least run this for another day now um this day wasn't planned for really um i haven't done any testing on the bandstack stuff 
and I need to test this uh, the changes to the uh, the attenuator as well. Um, for those interested, if you want to save quite well, not so much on DirectX, but uh, disabling that does uh, reduce a bit of uh, overhead. Uh, but of course, you don't get the uh, the nice uh, uh, background. It would be nice to change these a bit as well. Um, they're not exactly obvious. <laughs> But uh, there we are. Right here, guys. Okay. Cheers. Catch you next time.